Now that we know how to organize our tests, let's start writing our own. You already wrote your first test in the previous lesson, but we'll now break that test down and explain each part. Each test starts with a call to expect. You can think of this as the launching point of any test. It's what starts the process. The expect function accepts a single value called the actual that we want to test. In this example, the actual is add 0 0.1, 0 0.2. We then need to tell the testing framework what kind of comparison we want to use against the actual. The comparison method is called the matcher and is a method chained after the call to expect. Jasmine includes a lot of matcher functions and you can even add your own. In this example, our matcher is to be, which is the equivalent of a strict equals comparison. Finally, we pass the expected value to our matcher. In this case, the value 0.3 which is what we would expect the add 0 0.1, 0 0.2 to return. All in all, you can think of this test to look something like this once it has been evaluated by the framework. Add 0 0.1, 0 0.2 equals 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 0 0.3. If that expression returns true, this test passes. Otherwise, it fails. You can also negate a test by chaining the word not before the matcher. For example, this test would evaluate to true since add 0 0.1, 0 0.2 does not equal 0 0.1.